We'll see you soon, Kevin. Thank you. Tonight, we put the spotlight on an Indiana plant that's playing a vital role in the production of vaccine to fight coronavirus. And it's highly possible that if you received a Moderna or Johnson & Johnson vaccine, it was produced in Bloomington. You may recall in December, then Vice President Mike Pence, Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb, and other health leaders toured Catalan Biologics in Bloomington. That's where Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are produced. Tonight, WRTV's Nikki Dementri is taking a closer look at the plant's big contribution in the vaccine rollout. I don't want the virus around anymore. A sentiment shared by many. It'll be great for keeping my family safe, keeping everybody else safe, keeping myself safe. WRTV caught up with these longtime friends just ahead of the 16 and older eligibility opening up in Indiana. I have my alarm set and I'm ready to get signed up. <laughs> This is a look inside a Monroe County facility that plays a critical part in providing vaccines for those students and millions of other Americans. We have people volunteering to come in on Thanksgiving. We have people volunteering to come in on Christmas. So we've been running 24 seven uh, weekends, holidays, uh, making vaccine doses for the American public. Dennis Johnson is the vice president and general manager of Catalan in Bloomington. It's a terrible disease and I think knowing that we can help prevent it um, is is uh, very, very gratifying for the team. Catalan Biologics produces both Johnson & Johnson and Moderna coronavirus vaccines. The Bloomington facility fills and packages the vial doses of each vaccine before sending it back to each company to be distributed. I would suggest that most people, if they called their networks of family and friends, it would be unlikely they couldn't find somebody that had been vaccinated from Bloomington. The plant has grown in the past year to six high-speed vial filling lines. One is now dedicated solely to producing Moderna COVID-19 vaccines through June of 2023. The plant also employs now more than 2,800 people. So it's really innovative, cutting-edge field. It was growing rapidly before COVID, and it just happened that it was the right tool to go after COVID quickly. Johnson declined to comment on just how many doses came out of his plant, but Moderna released Tuesday it hit its 100 million dose goal by late March with the help of Catalan. How do you keep up with the demand uh, with both of these companies? Really great team. A lot of people think about a, a site like ours and think about equipment, right? They think about the lines. More important than the production line is the skill sets and the employees. Johnson feels the biologics field will continue to grow and things won't be slowing down at the Bloomington Catalan site anytime soon. You know what you're working on. Your kids are talking about at school. You know, it's changing your family's lives. And, and for me, that, that has made it incredibly rewarding. Working for you, Nikki Dementri, WRTV.